Hey artists, it's Miss Evans here. I'm gonna demonstrate how we're gonna make our Generani landscapes, including the splatter background and watercolor. I'm gonna start by scanning the QR code on my iPad to bring up the drawing guide. Otherwise, if you prefer, you can have the paper version. I do have packet version if you've had enough iPad time. This one shows us mountains, trees, 3D river, tent, um, campfire shows us some campers, a bus, cabins, and then it also shows us a finished example. So what I would suggest to do first is start with your horizon line, and I would go about a third of the way up your paper so that you have space for mountains and then also your sky. If you start your horizon line too high, you won't have any space to paint later. So about a third of the way up. And then I'm gonna start with some mountains and I'm just gonna time lapse through this so that you have more time to create. Now that I'm ready to paint, I'm going to use a technique that's called wet on wet. And I've chosen cool colors. You can choose warm or cool colors. I have my palette and I also have a water bucket and a medium paintbrush. And I'm gonna start with a small section of my sky. I'm gonna start near the top. And I'm first just putting down a little puddle of water, enough where it's not soaking into the paper right away so that I can add my color. And I'm gonna go sort of light to dark. So I'm starting with my lightest color. I'm just first waking up the paint by adding a little water. So now it's ready to use and I'm going to touch that to the puddle that I just painted. The more color I add, the more vibrant it will look. And then I'm gonna slowly transition to my darker colors and continue to add more water as I go. All right, I'm gonna be very careful not to tip this. I wanna leave it horizontal so that none of this color gets on my white landscape. So I'm going to horizontally scooch it aside so that I can create my splatter background. So I have a black piece of paper here. Um, we're gonna start by writing our name on the front. Just your first name is all I want. Just on the front corner. I like the left corner. You can do whatever corner you want because this way I would know I won't run out of space. If I write it over here, I might run out of space for all my letters. So I start at the left. So my first name, well, your first name will be on the front. Then we're grabbing a toothbrush. We did this with our Northern Lights project. You're just dipping a little bit, get the extra off. And then your toothbrush is facing down while you flick. And you want to get all over today your painting that you just made will be in the center. So you wanna make sure you have enough splatter on the edges because the center will be mostly covered. All right, now you're gonna keep an eye on your watercolor. We kept this at our seat on purpose because when it's dry enough, you're gonna cut it out, glue it onto the center, and then you're gonna post this to Artsonia.